What is the standard of proof in disciplinary proceedings? To prove misconduct against a professional, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer or an accountant, how much proof must a complainant put before a disciplinary tribunal? Imagine you are the complainant. Suppose every piece of evidence the complainant put before the tribunal took the form of a brick. If you stacked all of that evidence, one on top of the other, then the bricks must cross a certain height. The height is called the standard of proof. Imagine that you've learned something new. Now, there are two standards of proof in any court proceeding. The criminal standard is the standard called the beyond reasonable doubt. The judge, hearing a criminal case, must be convinced that the evidence before her against the accused doesn't give her any reasonable doubt over the guilt of the accused. Some people say that the beyond reasonable doubt line is 85% believability. Well, that's just a number. Civil standard is more relaxed. Some people say it's more than 51% believability. And that is called the balance of probabilities. It is anything. Some people say more than 51% believability. I'm just giving you a number. Now, Article 5, 1 of the Federal Constitution guarantees the right to life. And the right to life is part of the right to livelihood. So, to protect a person's livelihood in disciplinary cases, the courts have always demanded that the accuser must show evidence, the complainant, on a criminal standard of proof beyond reasonable doubt. There's been a great deal of debate over the last decade whether the height of the proof, the standard of proof, if you will, should be lowered for disciplinary proceedings. Well, it came to be called the sliding scale. So disciplinary proceedings against solicitors in the United Kingdom used to divide misconduct into two classes. That depended on the severity of the punishment. If minor misbehavior became the subject of a complaint, that merited, let's say, a small punishment, for example, a warning or a fine, then disciplinary tribunals were quite happy to allow the complainants to prove the complaint on the civil standard, a lower standard, just more than 51%. So, if evidence was between 51% to 60%, and these are my own numbers, there's no such rule, then the complaint was proved. If it was a more serious one, for example, involving dishonesty or moral turpitude, and if a solicitor was found guilty, he could be forever be banned from practicing law. In those cases, the disciplinary tribunals needed the complainants to prove the charges or the complaint on a criminal standard beyond reasonable doubt. Now, this principle appears to have been first advanced in 1956 by the Privy Council case of Bandari versus the Advocates Committee. You know, anything that slides cannot be trusted. The problem is any conduct that is considered unethical must cross a very high line. One case determined this as conduct that is disgraceful or dishonorable by his professional brethren. Since all kinds of misconduct require a high line to be crossed, the sliding scale cannot be right. So back to the old ways. In 2005, the Privy Council, in a case called Campbell v. Sand, emphasized that insofar as the Privy Council, in the case of Bandari against the Advocates Committee, may be thought to have approved some lesser standard, then that decision ought no longer, nearly 50 years on, be followed. So, in 2008, the UK Supreme Court case of Rebe children ruled that the sliding scale was a misinterpretation of previous authority. The court in that case still leaned towards the criminal standard beyond reasonable doubt. Which brings us back to this question. What is the standard of proof now? 
Well, as of 2021, the standard of proof for disciplinary proceedings, at least in Malaysia and the larger part of Asia, that is the criminal standard beyond reasonable doubt. So to summarize, it used to be the criminal standard, then there was a sliding scale, something between the civil standard 51% and the criminal standard 85%, something in between, that was then later jettisoned, thrown away in favor of the old test, beyond reasonable doubt, which is the current standard. So I hope you understand what the current law is. I hope you like this video. Subscribe, share and ring that bell. This is GK Gunnison bidding you goodbye.